Hello everyone, in today's video we're going to be recreating what is going to be the very first private space station, the Axiom Station. We're going to be starting a vehicle assembly building, doing a build time lapse, we're going to head out to the launch pad and using a combination of the Falcon 9 rocket and the Starship rocket, we're going to be building and launching all four modules up to the uh, up to, to the orbit and doing the, the docking all that stuff. But here we are, we're going to be starting in the vehicle assembly building, we're going to start with a quick little build time lapse. So if you don't know what the Axiom Station is, it is a new space station that's going to be slated to launch in the next few years um, and it is going to be a six four part module initially uh, designed by Axiom Space and Space and it is intended to be the very first privately funded developed launched space station ever um, it has four modules initially. It actually starts by getting docked to the ISS, and then after you get the four modules up, it uh, will undock from the ISS and become its very own space station. Um, I believe there is uh, some talks about expanding it, making it bigger once it is undocked from the ISS, just using a combination of these four modules and just like adding more of them. Um, just for the initial, just for this video, we're going to be doing the initial design. So that's just the first four modules. I want to tire you guys out with like 15 launches in a video. Um, so there are the four modules um, are the, well, actually, there's technically five modules, but it's four launches. Um, there's the node one, which is kind of the big module with all the docking ports on it. There's a crew habitation module, which is directly behind it. Then there's the research manufacturing module, which, module, which only kind of goes out sideways. Then there's the a power and thermal module, which we'll be building in a bit. But I said it is technically five modules because this uh, module building right now is the observation module, uh, which is launched on the on node one, but it is uh, reconfigured to go down there and be its own thing. So basically what this is, it's like a giant window room. It's, it's pretty sick. Um, it's really cool, yeah, so this thing, this would be really cool to see in real life, they can actually get this work, like a giant, I mean, yeah, it, it's, it's awesome, it is, it is so much wow, um, so I really hope this thing can work, um, they were talking about uh, launching everything on a Falcon 9, but the doozy is, right, the doozy is, uh, is with the uh, Node 1 and the, um, and the observation module launching in the one one launch it actually can't fit in a falcon 9 fairing funny enough that that payload so i just use that as an excuse to say hey starship i mean they could use an atlas or a vulcan but hey starship i like starship uh, yeah, I always look for excuse to do Starship. So right now, uh, we are building the power and thermal module. Uh, this thing does a pretty gnarly, like, opening up thing where it does, like, flip up open and all that stuff. It's some pretty crazy thing that there's no way I could do in KSB. So I go with the more lame approach where I just have a piston that I'll just, like, push out. I have, like, a wide fairing and a small fairing. I have a piston that will push out, push out the small fairing, which will kind of open it up. So that's the thing. So solar panel is going in. That has uh, most of the space station completed. Uh, if you're enjoying the video, though, we could go ahead and enjoy the good old smashing of the subscribe button. Gotta do the, gotta do the, the uh, plugs. I don't even remember what they're called. I do them so much. I've just like an autopilot mode. And I don't know if that would make any sense. Plugs, comments, likes, Discord. I actually funny story about this. This is like the pile of podcasts. Now that's what it becomes. Donate, member, Patreon. If that's, I think that's all of them. Then I can just start my rambly tangents. Um, I just went on RGV Aerial Photography. It was like, you know, they're a pretty solid. They have a big Discord, two thousand people, but pretty, pretty decently, you know, bigger, bigger than mine. You know. Um, by quite a bit, uh, and you know, I, I was on there and I got like, um, I got like the uh, content creator role, and I'm like, yo, and my name was like right in there next to like Scott Manley and Marcus House. I'm like, yo, that's pretty nuts. I don't, I'm so famous, guys. Like, but really though, like, thank you guys. You guys, you guys are crazy. I didn't know that. That's that was a pretty cool thing that happened to me. But wait, pretty cool thing about to happen in this video is we are going to be launching our very first module on the Falcon 9. The first module is the crew habitation module. And like I said, this is going to go and dock to the ISS. So we're going to get the four modules docked up, and then we will uh, be detaching it, and hopefully it works, which, you know, you know space stations, it's not like they don't work, really, like they explode, you know. Probably wouldn't be making the video if it didn't work, but, um, so we're going to go continuing on. Uh, the Starship is going to be the second launch, which is the, uh, the Node 1, uh, Starship, so stay tuned for that. But now stay tuned for booster separation. Actually, I have to stay tuned, because it's right there. Now we're going to get booster cam, and it's going to do a boost back burn with the Falcon 9 bottom stage, as the upper stage can power its way up to orbit. Uh, doing a, yeah, like I said, a return to launch site because drone ships are much difficult work. They take a long time. I did one, I've done one, like, drone ship. Like, I don't use McJab, but I like to hand fly it for, like, that extra awesomeness. I guess I'm just too lazy to use Mc, I don't know. It's not too lazy because it takes forever to do these booster landings. So let me get, I'm getting better at them, so. Um, grid fins are out, and here we go. Fairing is deployed. I'm going to do the, starting to do the rendezvous. We can get ready to relight the 
Merlin engines, or I guess they're the vectors on in KSP, but here we go, gonna relight in just a second, there comes the engines, and then we're gonna deploy the landing legs in just a second and bring the bottom stage in for a nice little land and back at the Kerbal Space Center, as the upper stage and payload have now gotten into orbit. Um, I'm gonna start planning our rendezvous with the ISS, and then we can, um, the International Space Station, then we can get our very first module docked. Um, so that is, that is much wow. So, well, well, okay, so you know what time it is, guys? You know, we haven't done it a little bit. First of all, these videos, I know I'm in too much plugs and stuff, but you guys, craziness! You want to view these videos, I mean, like, 10,000 views a video, like, bro, like, I remember, like, two, three months ago, I was like, okay, if we can get to 1,000 views a video, that's solid, but now it's, like, 10, like, guys, you guys are too awesome! Anywho, you guys, yeah, I know, that's just, it's just nuts, the, the, the views! Thank you, everyone, you guys are the best. So, um, we haven't done it in a while, though, because a lot of the recent videos we're doing were, like, like fast-paced videos, like, uh, like, a build, like, a race video, or a, 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 like, I guess, like, a shorter video where I didn't have time to talk about it, but we haven't, as we do our, as we do our docking right now. There it is, docking, and now we can crossfade to a very nice, early, warm, I don't know why I just call it warm, but, Starship launch! Who's ready for a Starship launch? A laggy Starship launch. Um, so, we're, we're gonna get into the time-lapse here in just a second, um, and there goes Starship going up there, but we haven't done a water review, water review, spa water is today's water review, our very first mineral water. And if you don't know what water reviews, it's been this stupid thing. You know Matt Lown used to do whiskey reviews, I guess he said, I don't know, last time he did a whiskey review, I think it was his like a like space station based thing. Um, but I, I, I decided to rip him off and do memes, so water review, we've done a lot of bottled water, doing bottled water so spa water. I've never had spa water. I don't drink mineral water, so I don't really know what to say about it. Um, it has a pH of six, so it's a little acidic. Um, yes, I drink it. I don't know. It is owned by the Spadel Group. Um, um, it's very common in Germany. People in Germany like spa water. There we go. There's your fun fact. I recommend it. There you go. Water review. There we go. Okay, so uh, I don't know. What am I doing with my life? So, Super Heavy's about to cut off. There it goes. I'm gonna stage away the Starship. We can get Super Heavy booster cam up, because it's gonna do its own boost back burn and landing. Apologies in advance for the ugly, ugly grid fins, but I really didn't want to go through the, 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 the just part count reasons, basically. Um, like, my normal grid fins, they're pretty high, high part count. You can see them in my Starship tutorial I did um, a few weeks ago. And uh, this, this Starship's already super high part count. Um, and adding more park count, this thing, the KS2 would run at like 3 FPS. It would have been like watching a PowerPoint presentation. <laughs> um, so I didn't really want to put myself through that, so sorry about the really ugly grid fins, but here we are coming in for a landing with Super Heavy, as Starship is going to circularize, or get ready to circularize now into orbit. Gonna start relighting the engines and bringing it in for a nice, well, kind of a hard landing. We run out of fuel, but, uh, eh, it didn't blow up. It's actually crazy how fast you can, like, I actually, on stream once, I, I, on my, I timed on my, uh, my burn. I, I, I burned Super Heavy too long when, when it was attached to Starship. I didn't really have enough fuel to bring it back in for a landing or to actually properly land. So I, my, my, I ran out of fuel. I was like going 80 meters a second and it somehow the booster survived. Like it didn't blow up. It hit the vectors at 80 meters a second, the engines, and somehow it didn't explode. Nothing broke. I don't know. KSP works in mysterious ways. Like, you know. I hit the vectors at 80 meters a second, I, I hit a solar panel at like half a meter a second and it goes flying off, so... Whoa! Weird game. Um, so... Um, we're gonna start doing our docking. I had like this grand plan that I, I had this little, I have this robotic arm on the other, on the, uh... On the crew habitation module, which is actually, it's actually on the real thing, that's how they do things. Um, you're gonna get a player payload, here's my really janky payload deployment method. Um... I was gonna like grab all the payloads with the with the arm. It was gonna work so well, but yeah, no. KSP didn't cooperate. And I know what the deal is. There's something about control points, but what was happening was I was like manipulating the arm. But instead of like it manipulating the arm, whenever I moved it, it would like move the space station. You know, like it was moving the station around the arm instead of the, the arm. You know, yeah, I don't get it. But we just we just RCS RCS them together. So there we go. After the docking ports decided it'd be really rude to not come together, just being very difficult with. <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> KSP sometimes. Either way, um, there we go. That's going to be them docked. That's two modules uh, up, two to go. And now it is time for the all-important, awesome... Um, actually, before we do the Star Trek landing, we have to quickly reorient um, our, ourselves. That, uh, um... 
the uh, the the uh, observation module, by the way, has a fairing over right now because in real life they have like a little little covering thing, and then they'll open up the covering later on. We will do that. Don't worry because I mean, you probably saw on the thumbnail the Kerbal floating in there. So um, it is actually com it's completely dead. It is not powered at all. It has no reaction wheel. So I had to like dock the station to it. It was kind of weird. Um, but uh, time to deorbit Z Starship. We have to probably flip that nose back around so it isn't like you know that probably doesn't probably don't want to re-enter like that. Um, so uh, gonna get the um, gonna get all the stuff like so. And then we'll, uh, like, yes, yeah, stuff. Stuff's like so. So there we go. Gonna, um, just retract that piston and we can, uh, we can get ourselves all nice and stowed away and get ready for re-entry and landing. Oh my gosh. Actually, this is one of my best starship landings I've ever done. Like, what, not the most, like, oh my gosh, guys, I landed it on the helipad, you know? Cause we've done that a bunch. And this, this is a slightly bigger version of starship. It's 6.8 meters instead of, uh, around 4.8 meters, which is my normal starship. But this is, like, the cargo variant that, uh, my friend, uh, contributed a lot to. So shout out to him. Um, it's not quite as controllable. It's a little bit less cooperative on, you know, the aerodynamic front. So, I'm uh, going to start our re-entry right now, heading back towards the KSC. Uh, I'm going to have get ourselves ready for our for a perfect, amazing landing. I always find a way to just put a starship, starship landing. I love starship. Too. I don't know. It's like my favorite thing to do now is like hops and starship landings. It is just too much fun, too much fun. So we are coming in, doing kind of a shallow uh, re-entry profile because I do, or I, 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 I yeah. My, my, my trajectory wasn't quite right, so I kind of had to do this weird, like, plane approach. It's like a space shuttle, almost. But either way, um, we are now uh, getting through here and getting through heating, and now we can start the belly flop in just one moment. Not very subtle quick save and quick load because, yeah, I didn't get this first, second, third, fourth, or even, like, tenth try. Um, yeah, so uh, what I realized is happening um, is because I, I have the traverse rate to 45 degrees a second just to try and make it a little more realistic so the flaps aren't like, going all crazy and stuff. But what I realized is happening is like sometimes they weren't like rotating together. They were doing weird stuff. And what happening was is they were was inducing a yaw. So I uh, I just increased it to 90. But here we are getting close to our relight now. I'm going to drop it down to one time speed. Sorry about the lag, guys. But yeah, it was just being laggy day. But here I get ready to relight in three, two, one. There it goes. Engines are on. Flip maneuver up. We are burning three, gonna already drop down to two engines, like so. Gonna bring the gear down, continuing to decelerate the ship as we uh, as we come down to the ground and boop boop boop. boop. Touchdown! Hey, welcome down to the ground, and now we can cross fade to launch number three, Falcon Nine, launch number two. Gonna get itself uh, powered up and in the air and in the time lapse. So this is the research and manufacturing module, the smallest module of Zbit. Um, as it will, uh, it will come up to the uh, come up to the thingy. Come up to booster separation. Um, actually, I, I lied to you guys. Um, as we can go and separate the booster here and fly back. Um, actually, you know, I'll talk about that a little bit later. Oh my gosh, guys, because I want to actually focus. I want to mention this booster landing because this booster landing was super janky. It was actually kind of funny. I'm very surprised this booster. The landing legs on the booster really like to explode because they're they're wings and they don't have a really high impact tolerance. Not you know, not like 80 meters a second like the vectors. And there go the grid fins being grid fins. Or that's not. Actually, they, they somehow produced more drag doing that weird thing. But here, we're going to actually full screen the booster cam in just fun a moment. So you can see the absolute absurdity that... Well, it wasn't absurdity, but here it is. Coming in. One engine. A little bit fast. Oof. Blah, 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 blah. That somehow worked. I was cutting the delta V margin super close. Like, you saw we had, like, under 20 meters a second. I was so happy that worked, that it didn't tip over. I was so happy. Very big relief. But, um, yeah, uh, there were, there were, it is the four modules. I did, I did lie to you guys. There's actually a fifth module. Because what they're planning on doing, this is actually pretty cool, is they plan on removing one of the, the, uh, uh, American modules and uh, just like plucking it onto the onto the station on, onto the Axiom station So when it detaches it will have like a fifth module that is already there now I believe since I I forgot well, I was gonna put the Wikipedia article up in my front of me on like my phone So I could like do epic research for you guys and actually give you some proper facts But I decided to pull up the spa water instead and now I'm like 14 minutes into this and I am uh, by I'm too lazy to do it again because it's midnight and uh, I, I, my goal is to get this video up by 10 o'clock and it's midnight so so much wow as we come in for our, our third and final dock or not third and final our third docking and now it's up to our fourth and final launch that is what it is um, it is for I believe it's a destiny Har destiny I'm gonna say it's destiny all the people who, I, I don't know that much about the ISS there's a lot of my viewers who like are like ISS you know like space station geniuses they're like oh this module goes this is there this was launched 
you know, blah, blah, blah. I'm not that guy, so. I'll probably get corrected in the comment section. I actually almost forgot to film that part of the video. I was like halfway through editing and like, oh crap, there's that ISS module I'm supposed to move over. Um, I, I would have really gotten destroyed in the comments if I could just completely forgot that module. That would have been that would have been a big goof on my front. It's, eh, it's not like I already don't make enough mistakes. So now it's up to the the power and thermal module, which is going to be heading up as the fourth and final booster. We begin its landing burn and come down to the ground right next to the KSC as we can start our di final docking with the International Space Station, which is going to be so much epic, so much epicness. As I burn the wrong way. Yep, I know what I'm doing, guys. I am professional YouTuber. I know what I'm. We're getting close to 10k subs, though, so maybe I. I don't know. Does that mean I'm a, I'm a professional? Is that? <laughs> um, I don't know what the mark of like a. You guys can probably hear. That's probably super loud. My util. My. I don't know. Something in my house is doing noises. I'm not an expert on house noises. <laughs> I, I really need like a proper studio, not studio, but like recording room. Um, because I'm recording in like a giant open room right now and it is just, just not a great idea. I don't know. We don't really have any good rooms. I can't go find a closet or something, but how do you like put your computer in a closet? I don't know. <laughs> great production quality, right? I know, I know. This channel is known for one thing. It's probably not production value. It's probably like, I upload a lot, but promise to upload a lot more. <laughs> but, oh guys, don't worry. Video will be out. I, I'm like Elon. I, I, have, I, get, I give Elon times. So I don't know. <laughs> Overly optimistic timelines. And here I am being another epic genius and docking the thing to the wrong docking port. So just hold on, nothing to see here, folks, as I just quickly, <laughs> totally a thing NASA would do, just get their entire docking and realize, oh, yeah, that was the wrong, wrong docking port. Oh, sorry, guys, I don't know what we're going to do now. I guess let's... <sighs> Best KSP player of all time. Like, Matt Lown, you have nothing on me. Scott Manley, all you people, Gameplay Review UK, all you people who, like, know what you're doing, you guys, I, I, but I have weird rambly commentaries. Suck on that. I guess Matt Long kind of does too. Um, so gonna start the deployment of the uh, the uh, solar panels. So we're gonna just uh, unfold them, and we're gonna get ready to uh, deploy them. Like so, I did have to quickly reload, to, uh, make an F5 and F9 because they were like cannot deploy it while stowed. But uh, I can just do that, and I'm gonna extend the thing up. Um, or I yes, I did. I did. Yes. Okay. So now it's time to remove the module, which uh, destiny. I think they also might have thought about talking about, we're talking about like moving the experiments, the outside experiments over, but I don't, I can't actually like, decouple them. They're not a separate coupling thing on my station, so yeah. So there you go, we've uh, deployed the fairing um, of the observation module. Actually, I don't know if I remember to show that. Either way, I might have been editing oopsie, but now we can uh, detach the station, and that is basically um, our, our station, or the initial version of what the station will be. Or that's, that's our station. That is our station. Fully complete. I'm going to put the Kerbal in here for a nice little ending shot. That is pretty cool. So that's going to bring us to the end of today's epic banger video so much wow um on screen now is all of our channel members thank you everyone who has become a member on screen right now is also z patreons thank you everyone to become a patreon if you do want to support the channel patreon is probably a bit better than members because patreon doesn't take 30 percent of your revenue <laughs> google um so uh yeah that's gonna be the end of today's video so thank you for watching until next time please go to comment to the video once again thank you for watching until next time and bye